All right, guys, welcome back. We're doing Sape Oasis. We have our Alaric hero, one point to Swordsman, one point into Sand Warriors, and three points into the Archer, three points into Mage, one point into the Reinforcement Tree on for the upgrades. And hopping into this level, we have our Alaric just kind of standing in the center there. We put Archer Tower on top with the Barracks to make a little choke point. Archer Tower on the bottom with a Mage Tower and a Barracks to make another choke point. We want Archer Towers in the central area as well. It's going to be really important, these center towers, because they can hit both sides of the map. And you can see I'm just kind of chunking them up and dropping our Reign of Fire early so we can get a reset, calling in the second wave, and just wolves come in. So Archer is going to be really important early on, and then a little bit later we'll want to build up some Mage Towers to deal with some of the more armored guys. But just make sure you get your Arch Towers down like so. We have three in the center, and then the one in the bottom to start picking them off early, and then one on the top, same thing. Arch Towers are going to be our friends here. There's just a lot of little stuff. Not really a lot of big stuff until later, so we want those that DPS to do the work. You can rotate your hero top to bottom like I am doing, kind of just as you see fit. I, I like it when I see a wave coming. It's going to be a little tankier. I like to move it to the top and then back down to the bottom. You can experiment a little bit there. I just like to drop my reinforcements kind of where the barracks are so they create a larger clump where the archers can attack. You can see a little bit of new enemies coming in, the Warhogs which are basically just slightly magic resist, so you can't just spam archers, or sorry, spam mages, you have to spam archers here. And you can see those center ones are already level 2. We're going to slowly upgrade the bottom ones as well to level 2, and then because we have access to the level 3 towers, we'll start to upgrade those to level 3. So just pay attention to that. Notice I'm not really putting anything into mage towers, it's already wave 4. We'll do that a little bit later. And that slowly, or now, going into wave 5, we have the armored guys start to appear, just a little... A little tank here, not too crazy. Um, Archer Tower should be able to deal with them nice and easy. You can see level 3 Archer Tower already on wave 5. So if you are following along, definitely make sure you do that. And for our barracks, we're not really upgrading our barracks. We're kind of just relying on the DPS. Got a little straggler there. He almost gets away, but we managed to put a quick barracks and reinforcements to stop him. And then maybe our hero can just rotate down to finish him off. Here is where we want to have Mage Towers. Uh, these immortal things. We'll start to see on wave 6. They're uh, just pretty tanky, and then they die. They create a little, uh, like, mummy thing that starts to wander down the path as well. That's, that's where we're going to have our mage towers. Not not too bad. There's really not too many of them this level. But we do have to have some mage towers to deal with that. And periodically, I would just try to keep your archer levels consistent. You know, if you the three in the center are going to be level three as soon as possible. The ones on the sides can kind of be periodically just upgraded as you see fits. There's no real rhyme or reason for that. Um, if you find the guy slipping past, you may want to put another point into the barracks. But really want to work on that DPS just to handle the waves. You can see that Immortal is starting to get a little bit too close for comfort. We upgrade our Mage Tower finally to level 2. And we're going to get ready for a Reign of Fire, I believe, as our hero <laughs> finally bites the dust. We have a bunch of Immortals coming in. And there we go. Choke him up, drop a Reign of Fire, upgrade our Mage Tower. All good. And our hero. He's level 2 this round. So I went in with level 2 here. I'm sure yours should be somewhere close to that, especially if you've done the you know, previous level. Um, I think I, I don't know if I retried it or not, but you should be around level 2 going into the Sape Oasis. We get introduced to Alaric at level on the second level. This is the third level of the campaign. So Now we're upgrading our barracks as we really have kind of upgraded the other stuff to level 2 and 3. Um, I would focus on the Mage Towers at this point. As you can see, I have already have two level 2 Mage Towers. The back ones are going to be important as you kind of run into these later waves. We're on nine, wave 9 already, so make sure you're upgrading those mage towers. And we see big clumps of enemies, just try to drop a rain of fire. I don't know if there's a perfect timing to use. You know, obviously if you see a bunch of immortals, definitely try to clump those up and drop rain of fire. But as you you know, as you know, see fit, your, my, your waves may look a little bit different than mine, depending on how you drop your reinforcements and when you're calling the waves in. But it should all be similar. And you can see we almost have a, we have another Rain of Fire coming up for Wave 10, which is going to be important. Little uh, wolves coming down at the bottom. You can see the Immortals trickling in on the top. And we're hoping to just kind of stall them with that level 2 barracks. Is going to clump everything up there, drop a nice Rain of Fire, kill some stuff. And we are almost wrapping this wave up here. Getting very close now. Wolvies, little bunch of wolves coming at the bottom. Uh, three ar Level 3 Archer Towers making very short work of those things. And our Alaric dude is just stalling them out at the top with the Immortals and the Thugs. And we are almost done here. Getting a level 3 barracks, because why not? We have the money. Level 3 Archer Tower, or level 3 Mage Tower just absolutely chews through that armor. And as we are wrapping the game up here, everything dies, and GG. Okay. 
Thanks for watching. Have a good one.